You're this perp back with another video and I just got done checking out episode four of Cabinet of Curiosities. This is called Outside or The Outside. This is a very interesting episode. Surprisingly, it's a well, it starts off uh, around Christmas or at Christmas or just around that time frame. And right off the bat, I really enjoyed that aspect of this episode. We get introduced to our main character, Stacy. She's very weird, very socially awkward. Um, doesn't really fit in with her other co-workers, but she still has a loving husband that's also a police officer. You would think she has a really good life going, but what's really holding her back is just her lack of self-confidence and where this story goes is pretty interesting as the tv and at that time you know once upon a time where people used to just actually watch cable you'd always have those weird infomercials sometimes people would buy into that there's actually like some places i don't know if they still have that in certain malls where they had like this um this store name as seen on tv it's all those different products that you would see on like pay programming channels and stuff like that that they would play at like three or four o'clock in the uh, morning and just have just a bunch of just crap they would want to try to sell to you um because there was nothing really playing at that time so she starts to kind of see this one ad for this lotion and this is where things get really bizarre because as she's at work she starts to overhear some of her co-workers just talk about their lives and whatnot and starts to kind of get into her head like man maybe i would want my life to be like this and not be boring and you know maybe this is the way to go and then all of a sudden uh one of the, her co-workers named gina ends up inviting her to a christmas party and she is like a secret santa so she has to get a gift or whatnot this is also where we find out that stacy is into like um taxidermy as well where she just shoots this duck or whatever the hell it was out of the sky and i thought oh she's gonna cook it or something no she stuffs that shit and i'm just like wow she's definitely has a personality similar to like norman bates and Pearl very much so because I saw an axe on her hand and just just where it kind of goes it kind of reminds me of a, a lot like a lot of Pearl honestly um so as the episode keeps going on you know she gets to this Christmas party and Gina gets everybody gifts even her um some lotion that lotion that she saw on uh the television and this lotion is like three hundred dollars i was like you gotta be out your goddamn mind like no <laughs> three hundred dollars for some for some lotion absolutely not that's crazy but anyways she gets it and everybody starts to kind of start to put this lotion on and this is where th this episode is very interesting because it's very sexual there, there's a very like bizarre sexual overtone with this uh this episode and she starts to put it on her face but then she starts to have like this allergic reaction where her face starts to turn red and obviously this is not meant for her and even her husband pretty much points this out as well saying like if it was the best lotion it wouldn't make your face break out or nothing like that but then then as things start to move along with the episode she's just randomly watching tv and then the tv starts to talk back to her and it's just like this psychological thing that's going on that's like you don't know if it's really something magic or just you know otherworldly just kind of get getting into the person's head and getting into their psyche making them um really want to get into this product and 
she starts to use this more and more and more to the point where there's almost this like lotion creature that pops up uh eventually it's it's very weird but it plays into the part of stacy going through this whole transformation and i like that they kind of inject a little bit of humor throughout this episode not too much not that n- nothing cringy or anything but it's definitely the most uh comedic out of the uh four episodes so far so i don't know if i want to really spoil the, I, I i don't know but pretty much what happens with stacy is she starts to have a falling out with her husband to the point where she kills him and then obviously goes into the bathtub and starts to go through a transformation that you could say what you want about that scene when she starts to kind of like i said go through her transformation it's very sexual and it's just there there could be a lot of means being made out of that i'm just gonna keep it that at that but i I, i'm pretty sure it it was on purpose i would assume so because the way it looked it just looked it looked pretty wild (laughs) you're gonna get a laugh out of it but now she has this newfound confidence and stuff like that now the stuff is actually working but what at what cost you know what i'm saying is this the life that she really wanted or you know it, it seemed like they kind of alluded that to that at the end but now she shows up at work and she's a whole new person but i really enjoyed this episode from start to finish especially it uh kind of starting off with it being around christmas time so you can definitely watch this around christmas if you're having one of those marathons of things that you want to watch around that time i think people will definitely go back to this episode for that like i said the the body horror of this is really dope that the practical effects are uh, for for the most part there are some like kind of cg stuff in there but it's not too much i still think they had a lot of fun kind of making this episode i want to know how do y'all feel about episode three and episode four which one was your favorite did you like this is this one your favorite out of the bunch so far or do you feel like the first two episodes were better let me know in the comments below but until next time i'll see y'all in the next one peace